Securing your Windows computer involves many practices. Here are 8 most powerful PowerShell security commands. Search for PowerShell in the search bar. Select PowerShell from the search results and run it as an administrator. 1. Get command. This command is crucial for security purposes as it allows users to list all available commands in PowerShell. This is beneficial for reviewing potential security risks or unauthorized commands that could be executed on the system. 2. Testnet connection. Type the following command and press enter to perform a basic connectivity test to a specified destination. Testnet connection, computer name and destination. 2. Replace destination with the hostname or IP address of the target system you want to test connectivity to. The command will display the results of the connectivity test, including information such as the destination address, the status of TCP and ICMP connectivity, and latency measurements. Analyze the output to determine whether the connection was successful and if any issues were encountered. By utilizing testnet connection as part of your security practices, you can effectively diagnose network connectivity issues, assess network security posture, and detect potential security threats or vulnerabilities. 3. Get execution policy. This command serves the purpose of checking the current execution policy set on your system. The return of the current execution policy set on your system could be restricted. This indicates PowerShell scripts are not allowed to run. All signed, this allows only scripts signed by a trusted publisher can run. Remote signed, this indicates that, scripts downloaded from the internet must be signed by a trusted publisher, but local scripts can run without a signature. Unrestricted, this allows all scripts to be run without any restrictions. Undefined, this indicates no execution policy is set. The output of the command will indicate which execution policy is currently in effect on your system. Get execution policy command is useful for understanding the security posture of your system and ensuring that only trusted PowerShell scripts are allowed to run, thereby reducing the risk of malicious scripts being executed. 4. Set execution policy. The set execution policy PowerShell command is used to set the execution policy for PowerShell scripts on your system. Type the following command and replace policy with the desired execution policy. Policy options available are restricted, remote signed, unrestricted and undefined. PowerShell may prompt you to confirm the change. Type Y for yes and press enter. By setting the execution policy, you can control the level of security for running PowerShell scripts on your machine, thereby reducing the risk of running malicious or unauthorized scripts. 5. Get help. Type the following command and press enter to retrieve help for a specific complet. Replace complet name with the name of the complet you want to retrieve help for for example get process. By leveraging get help to access documentation and guidance on PowerShell complets, security professionals can enhance their understanding of PowerShell, improve their scripting capabilities, and effectively implement security measures to protect systems and data. 6. Get event log. Here's how to use it. Get event log, log name, log name, newest, number of entries. Replace log name with the name of the event log you want to retrieve entries from. An example is security, system, or application. Replace number of entries with the number of latest entries you want to retrieve. Review the output, the command will display the specified number of latest event log entries from the specified log. Analyze the events to identify any security-related incidents or abnormalities. The get event log PowerShell command is essential for security purposes as it allows users to retrieve event log entries from local and remote computers. Event logs contain valuable information about system events, errors, and activities, which is critical for monitoring and detecting security incidents. 7. Get scheduled task. Type the following command and press enter to retrieve information about all scheduled tasks on the local system. The command will display a list of scheduled tasks on the system, including details such as task name, status, triggers, actions, and author. Review the output to identify any suspicious or unauthorized tasks that may require further investigation. The Get Scheduled Task PowerShell command is valuable for security purposes as it allows administrators to view information about scheduled tasks on a local or remote system. Scheduled tasks can be used by attackers to execute malicious code, so monitoring and auditing them is crucial for maintaining system security. 8. Get ACL. 
Type the following command and press enter to retrieve the ACL of a specific file, folder, or other securable object. Get ACL, path. Replace a path with the path to the file, folder, or object for which you want to retrieve the ACL. The get ACL, get access control list is crucial for security purposes as it allows administrators to retrieve and examine the security descriptor of a file, folder, registry key, or other securable object. Understanding and managing access control lists, ACLs, is fundamental to maintaining the security of resources within a Windows environment. The command will display detailed information about the ACL, including the access control entries, ACEs, specifying users, groups, and permissions. Review the output to understand who has access to the resource and the permissions granted to each entity.